Hey, what's up coach? In this video, I'm gonna teach you what is the best agreement to have in your business. Is it a seven day, 14 day, 21, 30 or 60 day cancellation policy within your business? Now, we have to kind of just hammer this out at the very beginning of this video because I know I'm gonna get this question, all right? Coaches are gonna ask, well, if I have the agreement and someone and a client uh, cancels too late, like what do I do? And, and here's my initial response to this. If you have an agreement, it's only gonna work for you if you follow through with it. If you don't follow through with it, there's no reason to have an agreement. So if you're gonna be too nice to your customers and they can cancel whenever they want, no matter what you have in your agreement, don't have one. If you want to be really professional in this business and you want to have good clients that really respect you and your time, having an agreement is gonna do three things. It's gonna protect you. You're going to end up making way more money in your business and you're never going to be dealing with flaky people because we want you to have a process in place before parents even sign up. They know what your agreement is, okay? And that is different than them just like clicking off on something saying that they agree, all right? So going into this, all right, I want this to be explicitly clear. Don't have an agreement unless you're going to follow through with it. So if you follow through with it, having an agreement is going to make sense. It's going to really protect you. Now, I'm going to answer the question, like, what is the best period of time as far as the cancellation period? And I'm using real life examples here real life stats. When I talk about this, this isn't just theory. Um, I have done this in my personal business and I'm just going to tell you my story first before I show you examples of coaches that we've done this with. Okay. So my story at the beginning, I didn't have an agreement. I didn't have any terms. People were paying by the session. They could sometimes pay after the session. Uh, sometimes they wouldn't pay at all. <laughs> uh, sometimes I was chasing people for money. Um, People could kind of come in and come out whenever they wanted. There was zero structure, zero rules. I was just at people's disposal. I had a lot of clients, but I did not have a guaranteed way of making money every month. And I didn't know if someone was going to stay with me or leave, all right? That's just how it was at the beginning of my business. And I ran into enough problems doing it that way where I realized, okay, I need to have a policy in place. And initially I started with the seven day policy. That's what I first came out with. And all that meant was I need seven day notice before the next billing cycle that uh, you're gonna cancel. And what I found was with that model, I started to get people to tell me seven days or more before we were going to uh, part ways that they were gonna stop training. and that was good. That was better than not having it. But I realized quickly that seven days is not really that long. And, and what I mean by this is if I have to, if I have five people canceled today and I have seven days until their next payment, well, I, that means I have to turn off their payment. Okay. That's number one. So if I take five people and let's say they're paying $200 per month, that's a thousand less dollars I'm going to have in seven days from now than I would have. All right. And it's up to me to find five new clients between now and then to make up that money. All right. So I found quickly that seven days was just too short because it didn't buy me enough time to have the, the, the actual time and bandwidth to go get and replace them as a client within a week. All right. It was just for me, it was just that that's hard. And that's hard for any coach out there. All right. So what I did was like, I bypassed the 14 day, I bypassed the 21 day and I went straight to the 30 day. And what I found with 30 days way easier, like significantly easier because now I had four weeks to replace someone as a client. And it also made my clients respect me and my time more because now they had to be more prepped with their schedule. Now they had to give me way more lead up time that they're going to cancel before they actually um, stop training with me. And that made my clients take my program more serious by simply making that one tweak between seven and 30 days. Now, this is the part of the video that 
like I want this to try to make as much sense as possible. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to try my best. Okay. If you have a program where you sell like a three month, six month or 12 month minimum type of package, which is what we preach. That is what we do inside of our accelerator program. Coaches that have that model set up are absolutely crushing. Um, and they have a regular way of making money and they have their term set up. Like all that stuff is done. All right. Uh, but with that model, I don't recommend 30 days. I recommend 60 day notice. And the reason why is because it allows you even more cushion time. All right. So the likelihood of you getting and replacing someone who drops out within 60 days is much greater than 30 days. And I like the 60 day model best just because it's giving your, your clients even more structure to follow within your business. And I also like it if it's clear with a client from the beginning. So if someone signs a three month minimum agreement with that model, that means at the end of 30 days, their first 30 days, if they haven't canceled yet, right? And that, that still means they're going to be on month two and month three, but if they haven't canceled yet, that means they're auto renewing into the next three months after three months is done. You can set up that way, or you can make it month to month after three months is done. It's up to you. Um, but we like this model right now in this industry because you have more lead time to go replace someone as a client. Your clients take it twice as serious and the likelihood of attracting a bad client. If you educate your clients, when they go through your process, like the likelihood of getting a bad client that wants to do business with you is very low. So it automatically weeds out people that don't take you serious. And that's great for you because like, think about it. You're in this business to help kids. You want to help people who are serious. And if the kid is really serious, but the parent is not like you're dealing with a headache. Right? You want the parents to be serious. You want the kids to be serious. And so I like the 60 day the best. It is the thing that I ended up pivoting into with my soccer training business. That was so much easier than 30 day. It was way easier than seven day. All right. Now, what I want to be able to kind of help you with, like to finish off this video, whatever agreement you decide to go to, like I don't care if it's 7, 14, 21 day, 30 day or 60 day whatever you go with, it's not going to work unless it's clear with the parent. It's not going to work if it's an, an actual agreement. Like it needs to be like a legit thing. All right. And you need to have your rules on there. And so most coaches, what they do when they watch this video, they'll think, all right, cool. I need to go set this up, but I don't know what my rules are. So taking time, like literally sitting down at the coffee shop, thinking about the problems that you've already gone through in this business, and write those out, make those part of your expectations that you have on your agreement. And like I said, whatever the, the number of days it is with the cancellation policy that you have only do it. If you follow through with it, if you follow through with it, your business is going to be completely different. Uh, you're going to have better clients. Uh, and at the end of the day, your business makes way more money. And the reason why is because <laughs> you don't deal with flaky people anymore. And if someone is trying to be flaky, well, you go back and you look at your terms and you show them, Hey, this is what you agreed to. And like you show them, maybe you have a zoom call with them and you show them what your terms are before they sign up and you have it documented via email before they even enroll. This is how we do it. Um, that is the sort of stuff that we do with coaches that are in this business. It, it allows you to sell high ticket way easier when you have this sort of stuff set up and the recurring billing and all that stuff is way more smooth when you have your agreement in place. So if you want to talk with me one-on-one, -on -one, go right below here. You'll see my number. You'll see exactly how to get in touch with me. I'd be happy to chat with you. Have a blessed day and God bless.